Hi, I'm Wes, this is Paul with Noria, and today we want to talk a little bit about fluid cleanliness. Paul, uh, machines fail because of contamination, right? I mean, exactly. we see this day to day. What solids. type of contaminants get in there? Yep, solids, dirt, uh, wear metal, even water, water air. Everything. So if we can keep the contaminants out, our machines are going to last longer, right? It's the oil, it's the fluids that usually get contaminated, transport those contaminants to the bearings, gears, or anything else. And there's usually two sides of this. There's contaminant exclusion, yep, right? Keeping so, the contaminants out of the system. Yeah, good seals, good breathers, things like that. Exactly. But then there's contaminant removal. And that's what we want to talk to you about today because right now what we have is the oil safe portable and stationary filtration units. And what I like about these oil safe units is they've really put safety first. All right, so whenever you think about a filter cart or a filter panel, one of the most frustrating things is walking up and just seeing oil everywhere. Exactly. It's leaking, so it's drained out. You got to clean it up, so you got the consumables, you got all the materials that have to be disposed Safety of. Safety hazards. Slips, trips, and falls, exactly, right? Exactly, yep. So they have designed their systems with three levels of spill protection. Yeah, so they have the quick disconnects here. Uh, they actually have the removable spill basin here for uh, mess-free uh, filter changes, and they also have the uh, third level of spill containment right here, the little trough at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, absolutely. For the, for the stationary unit, for the portable, you'll see exactly the same thing. So at least everything's contained, but I mean, they have made them to where they're not going to leak that much. So whenever we think about filtration units, most of them are only rated based upon how good their filters are. How good are these filters? Well, these filters are all beta 2000 filters, so that's 99.95% efficient, but they've got three different micron sizes. So they've got a 4, a 7, and a 25 micron filter and they also have a water removal option. Okay, so you're not only removing solids with these filters, mm -hmm. you can also remove water as well. Oh, absolutely, right? You get free emulsified water, the filter will scrub it out, and with the two uh, filter setup like this, a tandem setup, what really helps out is we can use a coarse filter on the inlet side, and a more fine filter on the outlet side. So you got your particulates and then your moisture. Yeah, or the 25 Vice micron versa. backed up by a four or seven or something like that. Yep. So we get a polishing effect as the oil flows through it. Which is especially good in like hydraulic units when that oil has to be especially it's clean. Really clean, yes. that's right. And then of course, when we think about changing out the elements or moving them around, really everything about these carts have been made for ease of use. You know, starting with the, the quick connects. I know that you like the color coded. Yeah, ones. I love these. We use them a lot. I see them a lot in the field. Uh, you know, they come in 10 different colors. They're really, really uh, easy as far as disconnecting and connecting, draining and filling yeah. things along those lines. You can't push the wrong color on the exactly. other one. So if you don't have a tag on the uh, on the system, um, only the blue is going to fit in the blue. Yeah, that's know. it. That's it. And then of course the filter, they're designed to open space so they're more easily changed and everything else. Plus what they have done is they have purposefully picked motors and pumps to make sure that the oil moves through the filter in a slower manner to where we're not generating a lot of static, which is very common in a lot of oils out exactly. there. Exactly, and a lot of you know places that we go to. Oh, sure, right? There's a lot of class one, div one places where they've got fumes, dusts, uh, particles in the air yep. that are highly, highly flammable. If we had an open spark, that's, that's not good. That's so at least we're looking at the safety aspect. Now, the filters here too, they're, they're medium pressure filter, pleated media, but that media is completely bonded to the end caps. It's a good welded seam in there okay. to where we make sure that the oil doesn't bypass the filter internally. We make sure that the oil has to go through the filter. So itself. it's actually filtering out what needs to be filtered out. Oh, absolutely. Because oil will take the path of least resistance. So if there's any openings in there, that oil is going to move yeah, through there. If there's there. any flex in that media. And that's right. These aren't going to flex. So we don't have that same sort of issue where the filter may break down over time. Exactly. So uh, really good systems to, to, to look at for anyone's lubrication. Yeah. Program. So as far as oil analysis goes, yep. you know, I see that they have the uh, before and after sampling porch, which is awesome as far as knowing when to change your filters, knowing oh, sure. the condition of your media uh, and oh, things along those lines. Differential pressure gauges, I mean th they've really thought about how these should be used. Now I mean whenever we think about a stationary unit, where do you typically see stationary So units? generally you'll see these stationary units hooked up to like a small circulating system, hydraulic systems are especially a good spot for them, uh, large gearboxes, really anywhere that you're going to need that Really, like really heavily. Mounted. Yes, exactly. That heavy duty permanently mounted system. Maybe even in a lube room. Lube right? rooms are excellent uses toads, for these. Yep. Drums, anything like that. And then, of course, portable options. Yeah, so these are better for, you know, a dedicated lubricant, not, not necessarily a dedicated machine as this uh, as the stationary filter uh, filtering unit, but the uh, portable unit is good for dedicated lubricants where 
you know, you can go out there, and all the gearboxes that have the two Same 20s in them. Exactly. You can Same use hydraulic that. system. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, I mean, really good options. Uh, big tires make it a lot easier to brew. Yep, when very robust to, system. When it comes to options, these are AC uh, driven for okay, either so system. Heavy duty systems. Oh, no, absolutely. So, pretty excited about the, the units. All right, so for more information on these products, just visit the link below.